So for you guys who only ever watch my videos, what you probably don't realize is I also create a lot of content uh, which is in the written form. So uh, you know, I write blogs, I publish articles, etc. And uh, you can get these on my mailing list. You can watch them on, uh, you can view them on on LinkedIn uh, and other platforms where you know the written word is a more suitable medium. Uh, and by the way, if you don't follow me on those, please add me on LinkedIn and uh, shoot me an email over at matt at fundingguru.com. That's Matt with two T's. Or also, uh, you can just go on my website, fundingguru.com, and uh, and subscribe to my mailing list on there. So do that, and I'm sure you'll find lots of content uh, that uh, that you'll find useful and enjoyable. But the reason I mention it is that a lot of people have been messaging me lately or asking me, uh, you know, who who writes my content, and uh, you know, is is there someone I can put them in touch with that can write articles and and, and create content for them? And the answer is, I create all of my own stuff. Uh, either in its entirety or at least I have 80, my hand in 80% of it. And my advice to anyone else you know, look, look, looking to create content that is a representation of their brand is that they must be doing the same as well. And I tell you this from personal experience that you know, any time anyone else gets their hand in creating, creating content for you, whether that's for a personal brand, for a consumer brand, for B2B, Nobody knows your business and your brand like you do yourself. And what you're going to find is that anyone writing content for you is going to write it how, in their tone of voice, um, you know, in, in a way that they, they see. I'm not saying it's necessarily a bad way, but very rarely is it ever going to be on brand for you. I'm giving you a real life example, you know, going back to the earlier days of, of, of my personal brand, if you like, uh, you know, a couple of years ago, three years ago, I had, I had external people who used to create posts for me, create blogs, create content. And um, you know the the, the, co the comments I used to get from my mates, obviously who know me, uh, about, about you know some of these slogans, some of these you know some of these phrases that had my name attached to it, uh, were basically just people taking the piss out of me because you know they were so not me. It's untrue, and that is what I see time and time again with you know, with any other business who who is who is outsourcing their content creation. Now, content creation is just another piece of sales and marketing. And if I ask you the question, would you outsource your sales and marketing? You know, the answer would be no, or or at least the answer should be no, because you know I would not advocate anyone ever outsourcing their sales and marketing. And content creation, social media is just another form of sales and marketing. And you need to take complete control of that process yourself. Now, okay, maybe as time goes on you know, and, and you've got a voice, you've got a brand, you may be able to outsource elements of it. But my strong advice to anyone in the early days is you've got to have complete control of this process yourself. Uh, and I'm going going back to you know to the articles I write, my blogs, etc. Uh, some of those are 100% written by me. Every single word, every single spelling mistake is all mine. Even but even the ones that aren't are written for me, but by one of my effectively trust, trusted content writing members of my team. But. The way they work is I will sit down and I will create the full theme and body of the article. I'll create the headline, the, the five or six, let's say, main points that go in that. And, and I'll give that as a direction to somebody who's writing for me. They're then going to write it, send it back to me, at which point I'll then sit down and work through it, make amends, make tweaks, send it back. And there'll probably be two or three drafts between us before it actually gets posted. It's done by someone who has studied all of my content, who knows my tone of voice, who knows very much what I think, but is also taking complete direction from me of what goes out there. You know, look, I see time and time again a business in, let's say, the financial space say to their PR company, oh, write me a blog about a loan. Or, you know, or uh, maybe it's an artist who says, write me a blog about, about pictures. And, it, you know, it's so off the tone, off the, off the, the, the quality, off the theme of that person's brand that not only should you probably not bother doing it, you're, you're probably doing more damage than good in the first place. So... My advice to anyone you know looking to start looking to start in this is is just get down there and do it. And if you think that writing's not for you, if you think you're not a very good writer, then maybe video is a better medium. Uh, but if you say you can't do video, if you say you can't do writing, then for me your problem is you can't communicate properly. And any you know never mind a business owner, you know, any person in life needs to have communication as a solid skill. You know you're either communicating to your customers, you're communicating to your staff, communicating to your to your kids and your family. You know. 
communication is a key skill. So if you don't feel ready to be creating stuff yourself, then that's probably another you know, another issue in itself. And you need to be getting out there and you know t taking some classes, learning some skill set to be able to do this. But initially my belief is every business needs to create content themselves uh, whether you're a one-man band or a big organization and that and then only when you've got a very clear tone of voice can you start to gently bring other people in to, to represent that for you so i hope you find that useful like i say if you've ever if, if, if this is the first time you've, you've watched this make sure you subscribe down below you can watch some more of my content and if you've watched my videos before and you like them make a comment tell your friends about it and also try and find me on instagram twitter Twitter, Facebook, or uh, like I say at the beginning of this video, join my mailing list too. Hope you find that useful, guys, and I look forward to speaking to you again soon.